YouTubers, let's go ahead and create a new ASP.NET MVC project. Uh, for that, I'll go to File, New Project. And under Visual C Sharp, I will choose the um, web option. And in here, uh, you will see that you have uh, the ability to create a empty web application, the old web forms application. And Visual Studio 2012, as is right now, offers support for MVC3 um, um, as well as the new MVC4. So when you're doing this, make sure that you select MVC4. I'm going to go ahead and then name my project Books Collection. And I'm going to click OK. Next, you're prompted for a project template. These different project templates uh, have different amount of support for um, authentication, navigation, visual styles, and so on. Since this is a beginner's tutorial, we're going to keep it really simple and create an uh, empty project so we can add each one of the files that we need manually. You also have the uh, option for a view engine in here we will be using the razor view engine so once you have empty and the um, view engine selected as razor click OK to create your solution so now that Visual Studio is done creating the project you can see that we have different numbers of files and folders displaying here in the solution explorer this is the default structure of um, MVC4 project. Let's go ahead and try to run this uh, project by clicking on debug and start debugging here. You can see that uh, we actually got an error here and that's because we started with a uh, empty project template so the application doesn't have anything to run so we get this um, um, HTTP 404 error here. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, you can either close Internet Explorer or you can stop debugging. You can see here in this drop down that um, I have Firefox and Chrome installed. So um, Visual Studio 2012 gives you the option to debug your project on either one of these uh, browsers. I am going to stick with the Internet Explorer at this point. So let's go ahead and then uh, add a new controller to our project. In the MVC4 architecture, incoming requests are handled by the controller. And since we didn't have a controller, when we initially debugged the project, we got that HTTP 404 error, which is a not found error. These controllers are really simple, nothing but simple C Sharp classes. Each one of the methods inside the controller that we're going to add in just a little bit, it's um, also known as an action method, meaning that um, you can invoke the method inside the controller via the uh, URL to perform that action. And the MVC convention here is to put the controller in a folder uh, called controllers like we have it here. You don't have to follow these conventions, but if you do so, things are going to be a lot more smooth, especially if you're beginning with MVC4. So let's go ahead and then right click here in the controller, go to the add function of the menu and click controller. You're now prompted with this um, window here um, that says Add Controller. Let's go ahead and name this uh, Home Controller. This is another MVC convention. The names that we give to the controllers should be descriptive and add with the word controller to the end. Under um, Scaffolding Options Templates, um, Visual Studio gives you the ability to add controllers with different types of um, common actions already built into the uh, controller but at this point we're not going to use them so let's uh, go ahead and just choose empty MVC controller and click add. We now have a um, controller here we have a home controller with a index um, action method that returns an action result um, and that action result can be many things including a view but since we don't have a view right now let's go ahead and just change this to a string uh, just for testing purposes and change this uh, to um, hello world and uh, let's try to spell that correctly and now I'm gonna click on debug here and we can see that we no longer have a uh, 404 error here but we actually have hello world um, 
you may be asking yourself how could it possibly know that uh, we added this home index and is hitting it since we didn't specify anything in here um, and we're going to touch on that subject in just a second but that's part of the routing um, engines uh, job um, to do that and because we follow the uh, the convention here the MVC convention of naming our first controller the home controller and leaving the uh, first um, action method as the index method it uh, it found that uh, home index okay um, it's also possible to go there and says you know if you say home in here it's also also going to take you to the same place you can also add index to the URL and it takes you to the same place uh, just for testing purposes here let's just gonna I'm gonna put another method here public string um, some action Okay, we're not going to pass any parameters. It is possible to pass parameters, but I'm not going to pass any parameters at this point. And we're going to return another string here. This text is from some action. Okay, let's go ahead and run this one more time. And again, it hits the home index. But now, if we navigate to home, some action, you can see that it's actually returning the text from that public action method. So at this point just keep in mind that uh, having a home controller and the index public action method it's a good uh, starting place for your application especially if you haven't um, worked with the routing engine yet. Do that and that will be your entry point for your MVC4 application. Next let's go ahead and then uh, add some views.